I have here in studio, I have two pies representing a multi-screen smart home experience. I have one pie which you would run on a tablet, say mounted on a wall, and I have a second one that represents a, an app you would have on your phone where you can control the lights. What I'd like to happen is I'd like it such that when I move the living room slider here, it will adjust this transparent rectangle representing the, um, the level of brightness in that room. So uh, if it's fully brightness, it's going to be at 100% opacity, and if it's fully off, it'll be at zero. Now, if you've done our advanced workshop in the past, this is going to look pretty familiar to you. In fact, you would have seen this demo before, but we're going to run through it again just to give you a refresher. All four of these are instances of a single component. And since these all four of these do the same thing, we're going to add our logic to send messages over to the other Pi inside the component. So let's edit the component. Double click the light slider. We have a variable here called brightness and I've got the debug turned on. So you can see when I move this back and forth, the brightness changes accordingly. What I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to send this along to the other Pi every time this changes. Now I could do a detect on brightness, but I already have a detect on slider width, which is changing the value of brightness. So I can actually put my sends in right here. So let's add in a send response. And this will be going to ProtoPi Studio. You have to make sure you use the ProtoPi Studio channel. This is how you can send it to other Pies. ProtoPi Studio, the message I'm going to use is brightness. Now I use uppercase here. You don't have to, but I like to use uppercase whenever I'm sending a message between things. So from scene to component, or if I'm sending from one Pi to another, I use uppercase messages. And if the message is just used just within the scene itself, so scene to itself or component used inside to itself, I'll use lowercase messages. It just indicates to me um, how this message is being used. Because this is going external, I'm using uppercase. And I want to send a value along with it. And what I want to do is send the value of brightness. I'm just going to rename this. Send brightness to studio. I also need to send along which room I'm doing this. Because this is a component, I would be sending brightness every time I modify all four of these components. And so I need to be able to say which room it is I want to adjust the brightness for. Each of these has a bit of text that is customized to say which room it is for. So I'm going to send along this text value. Let's go back into the component and I can do another send. send to ProtoPie Studio, again, because we want to send it to the other Pi. And this message will be room. I'm sending value together. And I'm going to use a formula here. This formula will be the room text field. And I want its text property. And that is everything I need to do in the mobile side. Now let's go over to the tablet side and set up the receives for this. I'm going to add a receive trigger and I will receive from studio. Again, it has to match. Since I'm sending through studio, I need to receive from studio. And the message also has to match. And the best way to do this is to just copy this. I'm receiving the message brightness. And because you recall, we sent along a value with it. In order to use that, we need to assign it to a variable. So we're going to do that. Assign to a variable. I don't have any setup, so let's add one. I'm going to create a variable called brightness. And its default as a number is fine. Let's go back to the receive. Select variable brightness. Receive brightness from studio. And that's all I'm going to have this receive do. It's going to receive brightness and assign it to a variable, and that's it. The second receive I'm going to do will be for the room name. So receive, once again, from studio. The message this time is room. And I need to assign to a variable again. I need to make another variable. We're going to call this room. And because the room is actually text, I need to make sure that I change the type to text. And let's use that room, receive room from studio. Now the way ProtoPie works, because both of these sends, and let's rename this, so send room to studio. 
Because both of these messages are sent at the same time, Protopi sends them simultaneously, and therefore they are received simultaneously. So I can put in logic to work with these messages in either one of these. So I can put it under brightness or I can put it under room. But because we need to make a decision based on the room that's sent in, I'm going to leave it under the room receive. It just makes logical sense to me. I'm going to add a condition for when room equals the value, and you want to make sure that it is exactly as it is written here. So the best way to do that is to select copy and then paste it here. So when the room is living room, I'm going to adjust the opacity of, and let's just search for it here, living room light. That's this rectangle right here. And we'll use a formula here and we'll use the value of brightness. That's everything we need to do to get this working. All we need to do now is preview this. So on the mobile side, I have this, I have my phone mirrored over here in QuickTime so you can see this happening. Let's run it on my phone here. And in studio, I'm gonna run this now, preview this on my desktop. So you see on the left is the tablet experience running in preview on my desktop. On the right is my phone being mir mirrored through QuickTime so that way you can see the mobile experience and how they work together. And now if I slide the living room slider back and forth, you can see that, okay, it's not quite smooth. Let's see if we can fix that. Let's go back into the tablet experience and the opacity on here, we have an animation on here. However, we're sending messages continually as we slide left and right here. So the animation here actually gets in our way. So let's turn the animation off. And now let's preview this again and see how this looks. Now when I move, ah, much smoother. So every time the value changes, it's sending that message. So the messages are going through continually and therefore it's updating our tablet experience smoothly. And there you go. If all you need are two pies to talk to each other and you can run one on a mobile and one in your desktop, you can use send and receive through the ProtoPi Studio channel without using Connect at all. In the next video, I'm going to show you why you might want to use Connect and how it gives you more options on what you want to do.